Hey friends, welcome to One Little Coder. In this video, we are going to look at a new software or application called H2O Wave. H2O Wave is a new initiative by H2O, an open source initiative by H2O that helps you make a application fast. So this space, if you are familiar with, you might have been uh, hearing about Streamlit, um, Plotlist Dash. Um, so it, I think it started even before that. So there was something called Voila. So there are a lot of applications um, or uh, packages, libraries that are aimed at only this purpose, which is to make a web application or ML web application faster. Dashboards, dashboarding market is so huge that um, uh, uh, companies like Tableau, uh, ClickSense are ruling the um, industry. So in this video, we're going to look at how you can install H2O Wave. So this is not an introduction about H2O Wave. That's going to be a different video. But for someone who wants to start with H2O Wave, so this video is going to tell you how you can quickly start with H2O Wave. So first of all, you have to go to the installation page and then you have to look at the prerequisite. So you need either Mac, Linux, or Windows. And fortunately, you can, even if you have got um, a Raspberry Pi, you can set it up uh, using um, uh, the respective OS that you're running it on Raspberry Pi. So that's a good thing. The first step is you have to download uh, H2O Wave. So if you want to download which to a wave, this is the page uh, where it's going to take you. So you have to start, uh, you have to go to the uh, GitHub release. And from there, when you click it, you would see um, the assets at the top, bottom of the page. So because I've got Mac, I'm going to click Darwin. And then it's going to download. So let's save it. Once we save it, it's getting downloaded. After we download it, the next step is you need to see where it is downloaded. So in my case, it's going to be downloaded uh, in the downloads folder. So what I have to do is I have to extract it. So I can go to my uh, downloads. And then I have to do, which is to, um, which is to uh, extract the download. So in this case, so down, it, it's extracted. Once it's extracted, if you want, we can move it uh, to a convenient place. So I'm going to leave it um, and then and there. So I don't want to move it uh, anywhere at this moment. I'm going to skip this particular step. Uh, if you're, if I don't want to move it, uh, and uh, the important note here is, if you already have got Wave H2O Wave installed before, um, you have to remove it before you install it. So the step to in uninstall or remove H2O Wave is simply delete the directory. So all you have to do is you have to delete the directory, nothing else. Uh, like I said before, uh, make sure that uh, you've got greater than Python 3.61. So the way you can check your Python version is simply Python uh, like this. So you can see that uh, this this computer has a lot of, <clears throat> sorry, this computer has a lot of Python versions. So that's why it is like that, but uh, you don't have to bother it. So now you have to move into the folder uh, in my case, because it's uh, <clears throat> sorry, because it's inside downloads, uh, I can directly uh, look at downloads. But if you're, let's say, moving it to um, a home, uh, in this case, wave uh, to uh, okay, and then you can just do cd wave, and then from there you can see the directory structure. Ls. You have examples, readme, test, waved, www. So all you have to do is now to start the wave direct uh, server, you have to say waved. Once you do that, uh, it says it cannot be opened. Uh, so the way, uh, you, the way you have to do is you have to go to now uh, your security guidelines, which I'll show quickly, and then you have to, um, you have to uh, unblock it. So it says um, it says you have to move it to the bin. So the way you have to do is you have to unblock unblock it uh, because you have downloaded it from internet. So go to your system preference and then go to security security. Then in security you can actually see uh, uh, the apps wave is blocked. So you can say that you want to unblock it. And you have to double click uh, to make that change. So once you double click that change, now you can just go 
waved. Uh, you can still say okay, open it, and you can see that wave wave is loaded, and it is asking you to go to the go to the link which is this link. So now you have to go to this link on your browser, and then you would start seeing the content that they are showing, which is it shows waiting for content. So uh, it doesn't have any content at this moment, and that's why uh, you are getting this. So and that is the whole point. Uh, at this at this point, you have successfully managed to install Wave. But if you want something to change, you can like quickly see a simple Hello World example where in this case, uh, after you do that, uh, you shouldn't close this terminal at all. This is this is what is running uh, the apps. You have to open a new terminal, and then you have to set up a virtual environment, and then you have to start writing your program. And uh, this this will help you. Uh, write your first hello world program and then you can run the program and that is something that i'm going to save it for the next video uh, so th this video is basically to help you get started with h2o wave server so what we did uh, so first of all we went to the installation we uh, we we made sure that we've got the python python 3.6.1 we downloaded the latest wave sdk and uh, we extracted the zip file we moved the drive to a, a home directory or any location uh, that is easier for us. And then finally, uh, we uh, initiated or we started the wave server by just saying, uh, by invoking the command wave. So at this point, you should have a, you should have a spinner. Now, if you go to this, this particular local um, posting, let me just show you. Let me quickly show you that. Yeah, so if you go to localhost uh, 10101 port, uh, you can see that it is waiting for content. Uh, 